सो वेलकम बैक टू अनदर ब्रांड न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ सोलफुल मेडिक एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी वी टॉकिंग स्पेसिफिकली अबाउट हाउ यू कैन स्टार्ट स्टडिंग एनाटमी बेसिकली द ऑस्ट्रोलॉजी पार्ट ऑफ एनाटमी सो दिस होल वीडियो इज डिवाइड टू थ्री मेन पार्ट्स इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट आई हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट वॉट ऑल रिसोर्स यू नीड स्पेसिफिकली फॉर द ऑस्ट्रोलॉजी पार्ट एंड ऑल्सो देर आर सम कपल ऑफ एप्स विच आर वेरी मच इसेंशियल फॉर यू टू स्टडी द स्केलेटन पार्ट ओके इन द सेकेंड पार्ट आई हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट हाउ यू कैन यूज दिस रिसोर्स इन द बेस्ट वे एंड ऑल्सो वॉट ऑल थिंग्स यू नीड टू नो फॉर द लॉन्ग टर्म बिकॉज यू नीड टू नो वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स देर आर सम इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स इन द स्केलेटन सिस्टम ऑल्सो विच यू ऑलवेज नीड टू रिमेंबर सो दैट यू कैन कनेक्ट विद अदर सब्जेक्ट्स ऑल्सो सो दैट इज वॉट द होल वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट सो लेट्स गेट जस्ट लेट्स जस्ट गेट स्टार्टेड विद द वेरी फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो सो या लेट्स जस्ट टॉक अबाउट वॉट ऑल रिसोर्स यू वुड नीड स्पेसिफिकली फॉर द ऑस्ट्रोलॉजी पार्ट ऑफ एनाटमी सो बेसिकली देर आर टू बुक्स विच यू कैन फॉलो इंडियन ऑथर बुक्स एंड ऑल्सो फॉरन ऑथर बुक्स सो आई हैव ऑलरेडी मैंशन हियर द फर्स्ट इंडियन ऑथर बुक एज यू ऑल नो बी डी चौरसिया दिस इज द बेस्ट बुक विच इज वेरी मच रिटर्न इन द कंसाइज मैनर एंड ऑल द इन्फॉर्मेशन विच इज रिटर्न इन दैट इज वेरी मच जस्ट द इम्पॉर्टेंट इन्फॉर्मेशन विच वी नीड टू नो फॉर दैट स्पेसिफिक टॉपिक सो दैट इज वाई दल ऑल मोस्टली स्टूडेंट्स प्रीफर यूजिंग द बी डी चौरसिया ओके इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रिफर द फॉरन ऑथर दैन देर इज अनदर बुक इफ यू माइट हैव हर्ड अबाउट दिस दिस क्रेज एनाटमी नाउ दिस इज द बाइबल ऑफ द एनाटमी वट वी कॉल दिस बाइबल ऑफ एनाटमी बिकॉज whole like whole anatomy uh, whole anatomy is being written in this and also the information available in this book is very much in detailed manner and also it's actually a quite lengthy book i must say if you start reading the actually the information which is written the language is very much like easy but the length like it's actually the book is much more much more lengthier than this book also if which you are seeing here so you can imagine how much lengthy the book is but actually i would say if you start studying from that book the language is very much easy you can really understand what all things are being written in that book so if you, it all depends upon you what books you want to prefer now moving on talking about the bd chorasia book okay uh, in the bd chorasia you would find already you might be knowing there are four volumes head and neck head and neck volume uh, limbs abdomen thorax so okay now what uh, what's the main information is in the initial part of uh, actually in the initial part of every book in in the initial part of every volume every chapter there is description about bones present over the part uh, let's suppose if you are taking the thorax part of thorax volume okay so in that you would find what you would find the, the bones of vertebral column okay now let's just move on to the other part so how will you visualize the whole uh, whole skeleton system like for that i have two resources okay let me tell you this resources so as you all know as you can see for visualization there are two resources which i could refer and this is the best resources which i could which these are the best resources for visualizing how the whole structure how the whole skeletons are being placed in the body okay firstly the thing is atlas okay now this you might have seen many people having this book so this is what a atlas look like atlas of human anatomy natus now you don't have to go and buy this book because it's already available in the library in every in every med school library you would find this book you would surely find this book and there's a pdf there's pdf version also links are in the description box so you can go and download over there if you don't let's suppose let's just suppose if you don't have this book don't worry i have another better option for you for visualization how the whole skeleton is play, is being placed in our body now what the other thing you could do is what i actually do most of the times is using the apps now what all apps are very much important for this this is uh, this skeleton 3d app which i really use very much and this skull anatomy especially for the skull part of the bone the skull part of the body okay so this two apps uh, links are also the links of this two apps are also in the description so you can go and download it over there in this two apps you would find all the th- all the parts of a bone are literally labeled and also there are english name and latin names of that part is being written over there so that is very much important part on to what all things you need to know specifically from the osteology part of anatomy so what i usually do while studying is prepare a flow chart of what all topics are being covered what all sub topics are being covered in this topic and also in that sub topic what all things i need to know so we will be going in the same manner in this video also let's just prepare a flow chart on how we should be studying each and every topic and after that what all things are very much important in that topic to know 
for us okay the flow of whole osteology would be like this which i have done so firstly i studied the vertebral column okay after that ribs sternum upper limbs then lower limbs and head in the head you would find two types of bone facial bones and cranium cranium should be the last part because cranium is like very much important part of osteology and also in that there are various foramens which you need to remember each and every foramen so that is that's why it is covered in the last part so that you could remember the exactly at least the cranium part because it is very much important you must remember the foramen in the specific uh, in this in that specific uh, fossa also so what all what all basic things you need to know from all this topic is firstly you need to know the latin name and english name of each and every part of that bone okay and also about that how the bones are being placed so this is the two basic questions which are being asked every time like from teachers like what's the latin name of this structure what's the latin name of this part of the bone and also there is like how is the bone placed according to our body so these are the two basic questions now moving on to the specific like in the vertebral column uh, in the vertebral column you will firstly start studying the so in the vertebral column you would firstly start studying the uh, vertebra okay so what you need to know in the vertebra part is firstly very much you need to identify what type of vertebra it is either it is i cervical vertebra either it is thoracic vertebra either it is a lumbar vertebra just for example let me tell you uh, for thoracic vertebra okay thoracic vertebra the distinctive feature what we call it distinctive feature for thoracic vertebra is presence of costal facet in the sides okay so whenever you see in a vertebra whenever you see in the side costal facets then then you are assured then you are assured really assured that that vertebra is thoracic part because coastal facet is the part through which the ribs get attached okay so that is how you might be knowing each and every distinctive feature of cervical vertebra so distinctive feature of each and every vertebra you should be knowing and apart from that how the um, how the vertebra uh, actually there is another topic in the vertebra which you must, must be knowing uh, for identification you must be knowing the distinctive feature of each and every vertebra and also and also you must be let me just clear it out so that it is much more clear for you guys hmm. Hmm. okay and also uh, also you must be knowing about uh, the typical ones and atypical ones so basically in vertebral column there are like the whole vertebra let's suppose in the cervical vertebra there are seven vertebras okay so in that also in that seven vertebras also some vertebras in some vertebras are that are of typical type and some vertebras are of eight are of atypical types so what is the feature of atypical vertebras and also what is the feature of typical vertebra okay that would be specific for each part like for cervical typical typical cervical vertebra there would be some sort of features for thoracic typical vertebra there would, there would be some sort of feature so that is how you would be studying the whole vertebral column and moving on to the other part let's just suppose after completing the vertebral column you would move on to the ribs okay in the ribs uh, what you have to study just the surfaces and also there are some actually there in, in the ribs you would find some grooves also grooves through which like those are the groups with through which which artery passes over it okay so that is the most important information you must be remembering in the ribs part moving on to the sternum sternum is just a simple bone so you go and just study the water some and in the upper limbs and lower limbs also just similar to ribs also you must be remembering each and every groove present in the upper and lower limb bones and also you must be you must be remembering the head part neck and the what basic things like what all the what are the names of these things or that's all moving on to the main part main part of all osteology is the head part okay so basically the head part consists of facial and cranium bones facial bones are like they are of much importance 
but uh, i would say the much more importance is given to the cranium part because in that it is very much important for you firstly to know what all like uh, canals are being present inside the bones okay so whenever you would see you would go and see search for temporal bone you would find there are many canals in the cell uh, there are many canals in the temporal bone so that all canals you must be knowing and through which canal uh, which foramen gets connected that canal which nerves flows which nerves passes by through that canal and also which artery passes by through that canal so this all information you must be knowing from the from the uh, from the all the canals okay moving on to the other part uh, talking about the whole cranium part okay in the cranium part you must remember this is the very much important thing what thing is that it's about it's about various foramens various foramens and their connections and their connections with the other other fossa okay so what you have to know is uh, what all what are the foramens present in the all the fossas of the cranium and also what all through that foramen what all connect connections are available so that um, like uh, if we suppose the questions comes like this now what all questions are being asked let me tell you what are the questions basically asked from this cranium part so questions from cranial uh, questions from cranium part would be like this like uh, uh, tell me connections of orbit so what you have to tell is in the orbit there are many connections through the other part of the brain uh, through the other part of the head also like uh, orbit uh, orbit has a superior orbit uh, superior orbital fossa is uh, orbit has a inferior orbital fossa and it has an optical uh, optical canal also through which it can it connects it connects to the medial fossa of middle fossa of the head so those all connections you need to remember each and every connections okay so those all things are the very much important in this whole osteology part and actually i would be saying the last part the cranium part is just a very much important and you would uh, you would easily do all the things but the cranium part is very much important so you must be giving much more importance to the cranium part learning the cranium part learning all the connections of each and every fossas of the head okay so head part is very much important in osteology okay so i hope i have cleared all your doubts regarding how you can start studying osteology and you don't have to do all the things just start studying the vertebra part at least do the vertebra thing because vertebra is like the most easiest part of the whole uh, osteology topic okay so do the vertebra that's all and after that you would go to college and there from college you can take up and like you could easily pick up what teachers are saying and also you could easily manage what all uh, manage the studies also so that so that's all for this video and i would be making much more videos regarding uh, regarding to this topic also in the next uh, thing i don't know really what i would be making but yeah some study hack videos are also coming and also if you do want some study with me episodes also because many youtubers are already making study with me videos so if you like uh, if you would like a video from me also so please go and do comment down below and that's all for this video let me just end this video and please give it a big thumbs up because this channel really needs your support and really needs your love to grow okay so your support and your love so that is what is needed that's all and i let me see you in the next video this is soulful medic signing off and i will be back with another new video that's all from this video bye bye